Hello and welcome to another Warp Foundry Battle Report. Ewan is back. Just can't get rid of you, can we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Super Soup today, so I don't know what you want to call that, but it's Imperium versus Chaos, and we'll get straight into the lists. And here is the Chaos Soup. So, Ewan, let us know what you've got. So we've got two battalions. I have a mixed uh, Chaos Demon Battalion, uh, which has a uh, change caster, a Demon Prince of Corn with wings, and he's going to take the massive uh, smash you up axe, uh, and a Pox Bringer. Uh, there are 26 Blood Letters, there's 20 Horrors, there's two near but not quite max squads of Plague Bearers. This clearly isn't all of them. Um, yeah, this, this is a very small portion of the, <laughs> of the army who can't fit, really yeah, fit it's it going, in. It's, so going, it's going proper sort of... It's a proper animals. horde. Um, and then I have a Thousand Sons Battalion with uh, Araman on, on foot. Uh, two Demon Princes of each, one of whom will be my Warlord with the plus one to cast trait. Yep. Uh, the other one will have the uh, Dark Matter Crystal. Mm -hmm. uh, ten Cultists, just a round out battalion. Uh, and then two Zangor squads, one of 20, one of 25. Uh, one's probably going to teleport up the table, one's going to run up the table and try and hit things in the midfield. Mm -hmm. uh, or screen against the Grey Knights, because I have a feeling someone might teleport across the table. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the list I've sort of been... I used to run quite a lot, sort of yeah. six months ago plus. You used um, to run this a lot in um, tournaments, didn't you? Yeah, uh, this was sort of versions of this, experimented with cultists instead of plague bearers. Um, until they got horribly nerfed into the ground. Um, and we've had a couple of good matches with very similar lists in the past. So. Yeah, so the, the list that I'm taking, um, which we'll get onto in a sec, um, I've taken this list to a few tournaments um, and done pretty well with it as well. So you've done very well with this as well, haven't you, mm. in the past? So, um, But we've... We've come across each other in tournaments and also practice games with the exact same list, so this has played out a couple of times. But it's, it's um, a it's a nice matchup because there's there's things happening in each phase. Yeah. Um, this army doesn't have a lot of shooting, but it still has a lot of ranged output with the sort of smites and things. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's although first turn is still nice with especially with who gets to teleport first. It's not a, a be all end all. Here's a gun line shooting each other who goes first and yeah. massive advantage. Yeah. So the obviously one of the um, one of the great aspects of Demon Horde is that you've got that you've got that movement and those abilities where it doesn't really matter if you go first or second because you can either play super aggressive or you can play super reaction. Yeah, you've, on got, what you've, got the, doing. you've got the bodies to play the objective games if you're getting smashed a bit on the field. Yeah, um, yeah, and then um, it's the same with my list. So um, I've got the ability to be ultra aggressive in the first turn, or I can just sit back because I've got so much. My movement is so um, is so good that um, it doesn't really matter if I go first or second. If I go second, then I can be really reactionary and put units in places where you don't necessarily expect them to right. be able to go. I mean, that's so, the thing. Theoretically, both of us can put almost everything in our armies in deep strike if we if we wanted yeah, to and if, yeah, we, yeah. if we could. Um, but uh, the option is there for almost everything, mm -hmm. um, which makes it some fun games. Um, I think we both share a, a weakness in that Space Marines smashes completely into the ground with these lists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not that we're the only armies that have that problem, but uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know um I wouldn't know what to do with versus Space Marines with this. Although actually I have played a game um with Space Marines with one element of it, which is the, the Grey Knights element, um where it worked really well because of the movement. Um mm. so it was like a castle -y Space Marines list and um, because I can, because the unit that I'm taking has once a game basically teleport across the board, and I'm bringing so many of those units. Um, essentially, what I can do is I can just move one unit every turn onto an objective and just make sure I've got the objective every single turn, whilst also keeping people back. So, um, which is what you can do as well. Yeah, you've well, got the dark matter crystal. You can. You, I'm assuming you would sample the blood letters. And, yeah. I'd be shocked if I didn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like the Zangles, the Horrors, the Plague Bearers can all go in deep strike for CP as well. So, mm. um, yeah. You've got the option. Yeah. What um, psychic powers are you taking? Loads. Um, so the Change Caster has Flickering Flames, plus yeah. one to wounds on the Horrors, effectively. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, um, the Hawk Springer, I think it's the Miasma of Bestland, the minus one to be hit on a Nurgle unit. Yep. Um, Horror is no smite, but probably will never try and cast it. Uh, Araman has Death Hex, Prescience, and Walk Time. Mm -hmm. um, Demon Prince, the Demon Prince is a Warlord, has Gaze of Fate and Weaver of Fate. Um, so re roll yep. a dice and mm -hmm. uh, plus one to win one save. Yep. The other Demon Prince of Zeech, who's a bit ill, he looks a bit ugly, um, has uh, Glamour of Zeech. Mm -hmm. And Infernal Gaze. Um, so Infernal Gaze is kind of a pseudo smite. Yes. Uh, and Glamour of Zeech is minus one to hit on a, a, on a thousand sun unit. Oh, okay. So I yep. couldn't do it on the horrors. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and of course they've all got the smite as well. Yeah. Um, yep. So lots of smites. Potentially. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes the princes tend to buff the Zangors rather yeah. than smite. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. You've always got that um, in the sort of end game though, because. You've got so many units that you're just putting in people's faces. Um, Especially if, like, it's a, if, there's a, if there's a big target like the Grand Master close, um, then Smite becomes a very attractive yeah, proposition. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you've got like, because you're like usually throwing a unit of Zangles at the person first turn potentially, and then you're either deep striking the pink horrors and or the blood letters and then another unit of Zangors or warp timing the Zangors, you've got so much stuff in your face and also the resilience of the plague bearers just wrapping everything that mm. when you get to sort of like turn four, five or six, even if you do manage to clear all of that, now you've just got like barrages of smites coming at you from Yeah the Thousand Suns and Demon Princes and Yeah, and the other nice thing is that everything apart from the cultists has an inblood save. Mm -hmm. uh, what is also quite nice is the Zangors don't have the demon keyword, yeah. which is nice if you're playing, say, Thousand Suns. Uh, Thousand Suns? Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. not playing against Thousand Suns. Mm -hmm. um, oh, isn't that one of the, the rumoured aspects? That one of the... Anyway, um, going into the lore there. Um, but yeah, that's the list. Cool. Uh, lots of tricks, mm -hmm. lots of combat, yeah. a bit of magic. Yeah. It's a really good list. Um, like you said, you've you've already had quite a lot of success with this list, so um, yeah, and we've already played yeah a couple of times against this list. I've played Tricari against this list and um, got three of three race weeks killed by deep striking pink horrors because I couldn't move. Yep, <laughs> I was very pleased with that. <laughs> Still a first game though. Yeah, well, was, yeah, yeah. I think um, the Talos put in some work. This list doesn't deal with. Talos particularly well. Yeah, yeah, just massive amounts of chain flail attacks. Mm -hmm. um, I think the couple of times, because I know we've played specifically with the list that I'm bringing, we've played twice with like th this actual game. Um, and I believe the first one was a draw, and that was in a tournament. Yeah, that was the one we referenced actually in our first battle yeah. where the the objective kept moving. Yeah, supplies from above. Yeah, they kept yeah, on moving yeah. away. Yeah, and I, I didn't roll. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't win it once. So, um, And then the second one, I think I I really messed up on my screening. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but I just backlined, and then obviously you just teleported the Zangles exactly. in and, and they just killed. smashed everything up. Yeah. He was so, basically all the Grey Knights, or effectively yeah. neutered them. Yeah, um, yeah which um, in my list is about... I think it's over a thousand points of Grey Knights. Mm. So, um, yeah, losing that first turn was a pretty big blow. So, um, but yeah, cool. So, that is the Chaos Soup. So, we'll be into Imperium Soup in just a sec. So, here is my Imperial Soup. Um, like we said in the um, Chaos list, um, this is a list that I've run a few times at tournaments. Um, it was inspired by a, a list that Lawrence of Tabletop Tactics did, um, where he did basically Grey Knights and Knights. Um, I think he had a long 32, um, but I've bought Militar and Tempestus instead, just because um, I, like, I like them a little bit more and just what they can do. So I'll start off with my um, Grey Knights Battalion, um, because that's where my Warlord is. So I've got a Grandmaster Nemesis Dread Knight, he is my Warlord, his Warlord trait is first of the fray, so um, Grey Knights, Grey Knight units that start the charge phase within six of him can reroll charges, so basically if he charges in first they still get uh, reroll charges, um, even if they're not within six inches of him anymore, which is really good. Um, 
I'm taking the free relic on him, which actually will probably come up in this game because um, it's I think it's like minus two leadership to demons. Yeah, <laughs> it just well, that, is, that is one of the real struggles. <laughs> yeah, uh, struggles my army has for leadership. Um, it doesn't have any sort of mitigation towards that side yeah. of CP. Yeah, and you blow quite a lot of CP when you're deep striking. Yeah, things, deep yeah. striking. Yeah. Um, so his loadout, he has uh, a Gatling Silencer and a Heavy Psy Cannon. Um, he has the Nemesis Greatsword and his Psychic Power will be Sanctuary, so plus one in Vaughn. Um, he can cast two, but you can only know one unless you give him another wall or trait, which is a bit, is a bit lame, but um, so he just knows his uh, Rites of Banishment and Sanctuary. Uh, this is an Outrider as well, sorry. Um, then I've got 30 Grey Knight Interceptors. Um, I absolutely love this unit because they're one of the they're one of the flavours of Strike Marine. Um, so they're just they've still got the bog standard sat line off Strike Marine, so um strength four, toughness four, um, one wound, one attack. Um they can't innately deep strike as well like strike marines can, um, but they have um, teleporters on their back, which gives them a ability, which means that they act as if they have fly. So um, in the movement phase, they get 12 inch movement um, and they can ignore terrain and units. And also because of an FAQ, they can now ignore units in the charge phase as well, um, even though they don't have the fly keyword. They're all equipped exactly the same. Um, it's three units of 10, so um, each three units of 10, they're all equipped with Storm Bolters. They all have twin Falchions, so an extra attack. Um, the Falchion stat line is uh, strength for users, so strength four. Um, I believe it's minus two and it's D3 damage. Um, one, of the, one of the units is taking Hammer Hand, so plus one to wound as their psychic power. One of them is taking Gate of Infinity, so teleport a unit across the board, and the other one is taking Astrolame, so shoot through um, shoot through terrain and or ignore line of sight and ignore cover as well. Um, what I usually do with these guys is I usually leave one 10 man unit intact, and then um, they've got the combat squad rule, so I can split the unit in half basically. So then it turns out in having one unit of 10 and four units of five. Um, and obviously, because unlike Thousand Suns, where it's only the um, the sorcerer in the Rubik Marine squad that is the psyker, they're all psychers. So when you split the unit, they keep their psychic powers, and then you get another smite, basically, which is really good. Um, along with their um, so the other rule that comes with having their teleporter is. Um, once per game, they can do a teleport shunt, which means that they can move anywhere on the board outside of nine inches of an enemy um, in the movement phase, um, which is really good because you can then still get the turn one deep strike um, that Grey Knights are paying the points for, which you can't do anymore. Um, so that's pretty good. But it also gives you the options of if you don't want to be super aggressive, you can just keep them back. Um, out of line of sight and safe, and then just use them to grab objectives um, in the late game. So they're a really versatile unit. Obviously, a unit of 10 of them with Storm Bolters is putting out 30 shots at rapid fire. And now with Shock Assault as well, and the Falchions, they get three attacks each. A unit of 10 is 31 attacks because of the Sergeant, which is really good. It's put them in a much better place. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's them. Uh, once per game, I can use Teleport Shunt again uh, for a CP, but um, this list is um, quite starved on CP. Um, so we'll go into my Astra Militarum. Uh, it's, it is, I am running them as Militarum Tempestus, so um, they get on a six, their shots explode at half range, which is pretty good. Um, I've got two Tempestus Primes, I'm paying one CP for one of them to give him Cure of Zaquilla, so um, he can get CP back that the other player spends on a five. And I'm also giving the one with Cure of Zaquilla um, the command rod, so he can do um, 
Two uh, orders a turn. Two orders a turn, yeah. Um, then I've got, for my troops, I've got one ten man unit of Scions, all completely bare bones. So nine of them have hotshot las guns, and the um, sergeant has a chainsaw and a hotshot las pistol. Um, and I've got two units of five the same as well. So uh, four hotshot las guns, and one the sergeant has a chainsaw and a hotshot las pistol. Um, I'm in some ways I do I, like like I said in the intro I do prefer. Um, taking these guys rather than a log 32 just because they can deep strike um, and it's a more aggressive option for a, quite an aggressive army as well yeah guys. yeah um, the five man the five man units I don't recall in all the games that I've played with this list or variations of this list um, I don't recall the five man units doing anything like out out of the ordinary most of the time they just sit back and hold objectives but the 10 man unit I usually deep strike with the other Tempesta that doesn't have Kurov's Aquila. Um, and with the abundance of other Loyal 32s and like Toughness 3 models like Eldar and Tau and all of that, having a 10 man unit come down and then first rank fire, second rank firing on their hotshot las guns, doing um, 18 shots on Deep Strike at minus two is actually pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, you think about if they can get close to something like Dark Reapers, yeah. they'll do like hopefully fill their points back, and they're a real threat to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then usually the idea is is that because I've got so much threat saturation in this list that a lot of the times the ten man unit after they've come down they just get ignored, and then they do even more damage. Basically, um, they're really really good against Gene Steeler Cult as well. Um, the Scions just absolutely ripped through Gene Steeler Cult, like Acolytes, because they've got no, was it five up save? Yeah, so yeah, so no save, so they'll just come down and basically just, just rip blow, yeah, just blow or blow a whole unit of Acolytes away, um, which is really good. So yeah, that's my uh, Militar and Tempest Battalion. Um, so currently I've got. Um, Eight CP for a battalion and battle forged, and then I've got one, so nine CP for um, having an outrider. Then I've got a supreme command of um, imperial knights, so I've got two armagers and one big knight. Um, I'm running them as house crest, so um, they're re-rolling hit rolls in the first turn of combat. So if they charged or were charged or heroically intervened. Um, I'll start with the Moirax. So I'm running two of the new Armager Moiraxes. Um, these guys are really good for their points. I think the, so there are 150 uh, base, which is already cheaper than all the other Armagers, I think. Um, they're, if you take them with the claw, um, that's free. Oh no, they're 100 and, um, I thought it was 155 with claw or something, but it might be. It was so it's 150. The claw is free, but the the, the gun that you have to take is always five points apart okay. from the um C beam. C beam's 15. Um so they're 150 points base, I believe. Um the claw is free, and then if you take the claw off, so you can take another gun. Um so I'm taking them with the lightning locks. Lightning locks are um Six shots, their strength six. I believe they're minus two on the lightning locks. So I have to double check that. Um, only one damage, but sixes uh, explode into two other hits. So three hits on sixes, basically. Um, so they're really good. They're not as great when you're running them with the claw and the lightning lock. Um, but because I'm running them as House Crass, um, I wanted to get the. Um, like the duality of having combat and shooting. Um, so these guys, they ignore moving and shooting heavy weapons, and also they've got a, another rule where they can, if they're within six inches of a big knight, um, they can heroically intervene six inches, even though they're not characters. Um, one of them I am making my knight lance anyway, so he's a character. Um, so... Those are those guys. Uh, they got fourteen inch movement, which get is just really fast. Yeah. Um, then I'm onto my 
big knight, so I'm bringing a crusader. Um, I'm paying the points for a rapid fire battle cannon. Um, I haven't taken this list with the knight with a thermal cannon. I've always run the rapid fire battle cannon because most of the time I run the knight with headsman's mark for crass. It's really good. Yeah, so headsman's mark anyway is really good. I just think the battle cannon specifically is much better if you're running a crusader with headsman's mark rather than the thermal. Because the thermal, like, against anything over 10 wounds, it does um, plus one damage on everything. So that's stubbers, avenger, feet, like whatever whatever weapon it is that you're attacking with, is if it's over ten wounds and you've got a headsman's mark, it's plus one damage. If it's against a model that has the Titanic keyword, it's plus two. So against another knight, your Avenger Gatling Cannon's doing four flat four damage. Um, the stubber's doing flat three damage on a stubber. It's really nasty. Yeah. And so I think that the thermal cannon only being D6 shots, um, if you're firing at another knight, you get flat. You get another like it's obviously flat two damage plus d six. Plus d six. Um, the lower end of that is obviously three damage, and the top end of that is eight. But because it's only d six shots, um, it's a bit of a swingy gun. It's it's fine if you're shooting at like normal vehicles and stuff. But if you're taking this as your dedicated anti tank. With Headsman's Mark, I just think the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon's better because it's 2d6 shots. Um, you're losing out on the strength a bit, and it's still only minus 2, but it's d3 damage, so 2d6 shots with d3 damage and then plus 2 damage. Um, it seems to just strip through Knights a little bit better with Headsman's Mark rather than the Thermal Cannon, just because you can whiff with the Thermal Cannon, whereas you're far more unlikely to with with 2d6 shots as you are with 1d6 um and also the rapid fire battle cannon is just way better at dealing with horde um rather than the thermal cannon so the relic that i'm taking in this game um the wall of trait and the relic so i'm taking sanctuary for a five up in comp five up in vulnerable in combat and i'm also taking first knight which is the house crest wall or trait um which is uh, he can re-roll all ones for his weapons. So he's re-rolling hits in, in the first round of combat, re-rolling ones for everything else, basically. Um, and obviously, because I'm paying the CP to give him that, he becomes a character as well. Um, so yeah, I believe that's my list. Mm. So. Also worth pointing out that the Grey Knights do flat three damage spike against demons. Yeah, so um, the Grey Knights will... Their rights of banishment, although it's only one mortal wound, if it's if the target is a, has the demon keyword, it's flat three, which is pretty big in this game. Um, but then you've got stratagem that allows you to bring a unit back if yes, they're killed if by a grey back. knight. So, um, worth pointing out as well, Zangles are not demons, yeah. Zangles aren't demons for some reason, they're um, mutants, yeah. So, they've got a five up effective demon in them, yeah. They? So, they've got a demon save, but they're not demons. Silly goat man. Mm. Um, also, against Grey Knights anyway, um, they have the Demon Hunter's ability, which means that they re-roll all failed wounds in combat as well, which is pretty good. Um, I haven't got Drago here today, otherwise I'd be re-rolling all hits, all wounds, and all damage <laughs> as well, because Drago can... Drago, it's a rule that never comes up. It's... Um, Against demons, Drago gives a reroll damage as well as hits uh, within six inches against demons, which is massive. Bro, so, don't charge Mortarian into Paladins when Drago's yeah, around. I think we went over that in our first game. Yeah, it was very nasty. So, yeah, that's my list. Um, I've had I've had a decent bit of success with this, just because it's um, it can be unbelievably aggressive. Um, so all of the interceptors with Gate of Infinity as well, um, you can put the Grandmaster and all 30, although in this list it will only be 25 because I'll have to cast Gate on him with one of the interceptor units, which means that they can't teleport shunt in the movement phase. Okay. Um, so it's ba basically you can put 25 interceptors and the Grandmaster in someone's face and then have the knights shooting up the board on the other side as well. And then after that, you've obviously got the Scions coming down as well. 
Um, or you can just be really defensive because you've got the movement there with the with the interceptors. You can hang back. Um, if you're up against an opponent that doesn't really have any um, shooting or the ability to um, throw units up the board or deep strike, you can kind of just keep them keep them back and then just put them wherever they need to go, like later on in the game. Um, yeah, I really like this list. I really like it. I always really enjoy playing this just because it's got a bit of everything. It's got good combat, it's got good shooting, and it's got a bit of psychic as well. So, yeah. So, uh, it will be the mission and the deployment coming up next. The Grey Knights have deployed with their Imperium Brethren against this filthy, filthy chaos list. <laughs> so, the we rolled for the mission. The mission is chapter approved 2018, uh, Vital Intelligence. So, there's five objectives. One here. Two is over there, under the uh, demon prints. We have number three, near my knight, number four, and number five. So, at the start of the battle round, um, basically, we roll a dice. Um, if the number on the dice shows up as one of the objectives, then that objective is worth two. If we roll a six, then all the objectives are active, so they're all worth two. Standard other mission rules, so uh, first strike, slay the warlord, line breaker. I won the roll off, so I chose deployment, I rolled for vanguard, so we've deployed in the corners of the board. And you lost the roll-off, so you deployed first, mm -hmm. and you choose who gets to go first or second. Uh, that will be me. Okay. Um, Take that. I am actually going to let you go first. I'm not going to seize. So, cool. basically, Fair. I've deployed really cagey, so I've deployed one armiger here, my knight right in the middle on the line, and my other armiger over there. Essentially what that's doing is that is giving me a um, unbroken line of anti-deep strike. And then I've just got all of my other guys deployed back. So just in case the Zangors do come down turn one from the Dark Matter Crystal, um, they can't consolidate into my Grey Knights. And my Grey Knights are within range of an anti-charge. These guys have just deployed back here. So I've combat squatted my, um, all my Grey Knight squads. The unit back here has Gate of Infinity, so they're ready to cast it on the Grand Master if I want to get them out. My Curl's Aquila, Tempester Prime is in there. Um, just with another unit, they're going to look to move out onto that objective. Um, and yeah, that's all of my units. I've got a Tempester Prime and a 10 man unit of Scions in Deep Strike. The Ewan has deployed his blob across the line again, so two big units of Playbearers all the way up. Um, one unit of Zangors is on here, probably looking to Dark Matter Crystal. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> We've got all three Demon Princes here with the other characters, so Araman, the um, Poxbringer, Changecaster, uh, the Cultists have just strung out, so to stop me from deep striking in, and you've spent a couple of CP on... Um, reserves. Reserves, so uh, that's one unit of Zangors and the Bloodletters and the Pink Horrors. Yep. Yep. Okay, and you've also spent CP for the banner. Yes. Yes. So, okay, but let's so get a 3d6 charge. Yeah, so 3d6 charge on the blood letters. So, um, because I'm not going to seize, we'll go into Chaos Soup, turn one, in just a sec. We're in the Chaos Movement phase, and everything has advanced up. So, Plague Rares have advanced. This other unit of Plague Rares have advanced. Cultists have just done a little bit of a shuffle. Demon Princes have advanced. Araman's advanced. Uh, yeah, and then. The Zangles have Dark Matter Crystal. Mm. So, yeah, that's all the uh, movement. Big horde of demons going towards me. So, do you want to do your psychic? Cool. Um, so, I'll. Oh, also, just before we forget, we rolled for the objective and it is number three. Boo. I was happy to re roll it on camera, but. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I'll start off with um, the. Nurgle demon person, Jack character, yep. Nurgle so, Herald. Yeah. Putting minus one to hit on this squad over here. Yep, so minus one pestilence. Yep, I think he cast on a six. Yep, Ooh. that's a fail. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I will then start trying to 
buff up this angles. Actually, okay. no, I'm going to do Gaze of Fate first from this chap. Yep, sure. Cast on an eight. Yep, okay. He's the plus one to cast chap. Okay. Uh, cast free reroll. Yep. And he's also going to put uh, Weaver of Fate onto the Zangors over here. Okay, so plus one involved. Goes off. Yep. Cool. Uh, this prince yep. over here is going to try and put Glamour of Zeech okay. on them. He needs to show a seven. That's a fail. Um, Please, let's keep it. I'm assuming you're saving your gaze for charging. Yeah, I yeah. won't. Um, okay, so that's no minus one to hit on these angles. Cool, but he's going to smite the knight as well. Okay. Goes off on yep. a nine. Okay, so d3 mortals. That is a three. Okay, so at this point I'm going to spend one TP, so I'm down to eight. And I'm going to give him a five up feel no pain to get the four wounds. So, d5 here. Uh, nope. Going to die. So he's down to 21. Cool. Uh, the change card uh, is out of range to anything because he's got a smaller smart range. Okay. Uh, so Araman is going to try and put. He's going to start off with Smite on the Knight again. Okay. Goes off on a 9. Okay. What's the damage? Okay. Two. Two. Okay. And a dead card is. Five ups here. I save one. He takes another. He's down to 20. Cool. Dice on him. There we go. Twenty runes remaining on the big knight. Aaron is going to put prescience onto the uh, zangle block. Yep. Okay. Prescience. Uh, That's a fail. Fails, yeah. And I need to remember his last power. Uh, Death X. Death X. Death X. Death X. Prescience. Warp time. Yeah. Um. Not going to be a range of anything else of note, so we're going to end it there. Okay, so that's uh, Chaos Psychic Phase done. We'll be back in the Shooting Phase. If shooting Phase is done. Shooting Phase is done. <laughs> we'll be back in the Charge Phase in just a sec. Back in the Chaos Charge Phase, the Zangor is going to charge into the Moirax, so I'm just going to do some Overwatch. So, obviously, Dark Matter Crystal, they are just over nine inches away, so I can't use the Rad Cleanser, but they can use the Lightning Lock, so it'll be six shots. Sixes, but sixes explode into three hits. Uh, just one, so that's three hits. Strength six, so threes. Two wounds at minus two. Cool. Uh, four pin run, thanks to the buff. Yeah, fine. fine. Cool. Well, so, charging, needing an eight. Yep, they get plus one to charge. Nope. So, uh, you're going to reroll one or both, because you need to declare it straight away. Yeah. Um, it's definitely going to reroll this one. Yep. Uh, so, that would mean. Gaze? On one? Yeah, gaze on one. So I need to show a four on it. So yeah, just do the gaze on one. Five, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Cool. Um, so they've charged in there. Uh, we'll be back in the fight phase in just a sec. Okay, so we're back in the fight phase. There's 40 attacks from the Zangors into the Moirax. You and spent CP on veterans, so take it away. 40 hits. Cocked. So, no rerolls here because they didn't try it back. So, uh, it's just threes because presidents didn't go off. So, strength four, toughness seven. So fives normally, but veterans to win on fours. Yep. So, fours to win here. Uh, pretty good. We could spread up the wings. So, three. Six, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, maybe one. Use these. So this will be four ups because they have a three up save. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's lost five wounds, he's down to seven. Let's put that in there. Uh, do you have any, anything else? Uh, they're just going to consolidate round. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm just going to grab my tanks. No matter a great deal, but they have the chaos keyword, though, don't they? They do have the chaos okay. keyword. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend one CP. One, two, that was an eight. One, seven. Uh, I'm going to spend one CP for the crest stratagem, which means that against chaos, his attacks explode into three hits. Boo. <laughs> so many anti chaos stratagems, it's really, really frustrating. <laughs> yeah, so, 
fours here um, because the um, claw is minus one to hit, but I'm re-rolling ones and twos because he was charged, because he was crashed, and six is exploded. Okay, no explosions yet, but re-rolling that. No, okay, so wasted the CP there, but that's fine. Uh, this will be wing on twos. That is three at minus four. Cool, four bin vans. That's three are dead. Okay, cool. That is the end of combat. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of turn. Okay, uh, so morale, uh, you should yeah. seven. There's a two. Okay, that's so fine. fine. Cool, so we'll be back after Imperium movement phase in just a sec. And we're back in the Imperium just after the movement phase. So, um, for the most part, these guys have stayed where they are. Um, you know, of interceptors, the five man unit with uh, Gate of Infinity, Grandmaster. Um, I might actually just. Yes, cool. So, Grandmaster stayed there, um, just looking to get Gate of Infinity off on him. This unit of Strike Marines, uh, not Strike Marines, Interceptors, they haven't used their shunt, they've just moved 12 up from here. Knights moved around here, um, looking to get a charge off into them, staying well out of range of the um, Corn, Prince. Corn Prince. This Moirax has moved over here just to um, shore up the lines with a bit of deep strike denial. These guys have moved out, just sitting on that objective. Teleport shunted a unit of 10 interceptors and a unit of 5. So, unit of 10 have hammer hands, this unit of 5 have astrolabe, and there's the other unit of Five with Astrolabe as well. So we'll go straight into the Psychic phase. Uh, yes, with two people, I think it matters. Okay. Uh, and here, uh, just the Prince. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go over to this Strike Marine unit over here. Uh, not Strike, keep saying Strike Marines. Interceptors, they're going to smite. Um, it'll go into these angles, so that goes off on a five. Uh, I'll try and deny the prince. Oh, I'm on six. Yep, that's Plenty. fine. Cool. Go over here. Uh, this unit of ten are going to cast hammer hand on themselves. Uh, that does go off on a seven. Cool. We'll try and deny with one of the two there. Denied. Yeah. Okay. This unit, they're going to smite into them. Uh, nope, that fails. This unit going to smite into plague bearers because they're equidistant over there. That does go off with the plus one. So, do you have any dollars in range? Not of them. Okay, so it's D3 more. D, uh, it's flat three. Full of pain. So, very good. Oh. This unit, um, actually, Grandmaster is going to cast Sanctuary on himself. So, this is for a three epic blood rubble. That goes off. Don't know if you've got anything in denial. Not there. of them. Yeah. And then finally, uh, these guys are going to cast Gate of Infinity on him. I'm going to spend one CP. So, uh, I did get a CP back as well. Um, I forgot my Kurov's Aquila. Um, so down to seven. Uh, they're going to use uh, Psychic Channeling, so I can roll three dice and pick the two highest on this cast. Okay, so that is an 11, so definitely goes off. He's going to teleport, so I already know where he's going. Down here, just behind them. Then what he's going to do, uh, he will. So he's got Sanctuary off on himself, he's got another power, he's going to smite them as well. That goes off on six. Cool. Uh, three. So another two die. Okay, cool. Uh, to the banner bearer, but if it's. He's the only one. Uh, let's rely on you failing charges. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, Grey Knight's psychic phase, got no other psychers um, in this list, so. We'll be back in my shooting phase in just a sec. So we're back in Grey Knight shooting phase. Um, I'm going to start out with these guys over here. Mm -hmm. They're going to put all their storm bolters into the cultists. So it will be 20 shots. I've conveniently got 20 dice in. It's almost like you found this out. So it'll be uh, threes, no rerolls. Okay, just getting rid of my buttons. And then threes, it's straight four, top is three. No AP on this, is there? Yeah, no AP, so that is five, nine. 
Cool. Six up saves for cultists. Mm -hmm. Uh, one. one, so eight dead. Okay. Uh, ten, three, as so you have eleven. Oh, okay, cool. Back on spare points, so three, six, eight. Okay. Just gonna go over to this unit, they're gonna fire all those storm bolters into the plague rares. Cool. So, two of shots again. Heading on towards this time. You didn't get one as well. No, it's in build. Minus one. Oh, of course it is, yeah. Yeah. Because they're over uh, 20 more bolts. Yep, so you hit more fours. Just gonna try and keep those together. <laughs> okay, when you're on fours. Okay, that is five. Five. No minus. So fives and fives. Invan. Fill a pain. Three die. Okay, I'll take that. Um, Taking from take up from over here. Yep. So. I'm going to go straight onto my knight, um, purely because he doesn't really have anything else to shoot at. He's going to put everything into the uh, plate bearers as well. I mean, we are accepting recruits if he wants to shoot the great eyes. Pretend to kill Slight halfway through the game. He, he would never do such a thing. So we've got Avenger Gatlin Cannon. So this will be Falls rerun ones because of the first knight. Okay. Oh, reroll those ones. That's pretty good. Okay. Didn't make those rerolls. One of those was a fail. Moving on threes here because it's strength six. Okay, uh, four, four. So in balance. Yep, and then flat damage. So one failed. Mm -hmm. Oh, one passed. So first one dies. Second one dies. Third one dies. Okay, so three more from the unit. I'll take that. Rapid fire bank cannon, 2d6 shots, 7, that's pretty good. Bang on average, knee on fours, can we roll those ones because the first night? And winning on twos, four. So, in balance, passes two, so 2d3 damage, so you've got a three and a two. A three? A three. Ooh. Oh, nearly. The two, no. No. so another two more. Okay. Six heavy stubbers, because rapid fire back cannon comes with a stubber. Uh, three hits. Two wounds. One damage. One pass. And fill a pain. Uh, Cocked. Yeah. Nope. nope. Uh, another one dies. One dead. Just move that back. And then, finally, we got the rocket pod on top. Six shots. Pretty nice. Uh, that's not good. And threes, one wound. Five up. No, it's flat to damage. And dies. Not well dead. Okay, could have been worse. Um, I'm assuming my Moirax is in 24. Yep, so what we'll do, we'll put the um, lightning lock into them. So. Actually, um, we'll just come back because we need to, because they got minus one to hit, Yes. we need to double check whether it's um, on a six up or on an unmodified roll of a six that explodes, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the Moirax, um, we double checked and the lightning lock is unmodified, hit rolls of six, so the minus doesn't affect it. Um, well, I was thinking maybe taking the helm bonus with them to give them plus one to hit, but that wouldn't work. So it'd be six shots, hitting on fours. Cool to explode. So that's two more. Two more there. Seven hits from six. Very Impressive, nice. isn't it? Strength six. So we need threes. That is four wings. Four wings. Uh, five up. And damage. Okay, just one. On the lightning lock. Uh, one so dead. One. Okay. Plague bearers being tanky. Um, let's move on to. This 20 man unit of Grey Knights. Why have they spread out like that? They should be there. Um, I'm going to put everything into this Plague Bearer unit. I'm not going to use uh, Cyborg ammunition just because I don't really want to kill them. I want to try and make a charge into them. So it'll be 40 shots. So we'll do this in 20s. So 5, 10, 15, 20. 
This will be fours, rerunning ones, because the Grandmaster's there. Okay, a couple of ones. Okay. So I'm just getting rid of those misses. It's pretty good. It's very good actually. Winning on fours, good straight four. So not great there. Five, I think that is. Uh, yeah. Six. Six. Okay. Six saves. Uh five up. Next two. Next three. Ooh, very nice. One dead. Uh kill. Cool. I will kill this one. Now, okay. So another twenty shots. Same thing. Rerolling those ones, just as well. That's quite a lot of them. Okay, it's pretty good conversion again. And we got three uh, fours. Uh, only three again. Uh, Two dead. Two fail oh, saves. Two fail saves, yep. And one dies. Okay, cool. Okay, so in that case, I'm actually not going to shoot with these guys. No. Nope. So um, just going to do some um, measuring with Grandmaster and I'll come right back. We're back in green on the shooting phase. Um, I've just had a think and. Um, because these guys, they're not strike marines, they're interceptors, so they're a uh, false attack choice, so they're not troops, however the playgrounds are. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to shoot this five man unit and I'm going to shoot the Grandmaster, because the whole point is just to get them off the objective. So we'll do another 20 shots with the Stormbusters. Put all those ones. There you go. These fails. Same with fours. Okay, that's a bit better this time. Four. Four. Uh, two fail. Got a pain. Two fail. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll go straight onto the Grandmaster. So he will put his um, wave guns into them. So there'll be four shots from the heavy side cannon, so it's minus two because he moved and it's a heavy weapon, and they're minus one, so pause. That's pretty good. Uh, this is threes? Threes, yeah. yeah. So only three, only two. Uh, five up. And it's flat damage. So first one, second one. Okay, two more dead. And then it'd be 12 shots from the Gatling. So Pause again. Reroll those ones because of himself. Hopefully. Thank you. So uh, this will be winning on fours, but it's only three and four. That's pretty good. Ooh. So that is six. No minus. That is D3 damage. Though. That is four fails. Okay, so 43 damage. So, so two ones, two. one two, and one three. Two ones. Fine. The two dies. The three dies. So two dies. Two more dead. And I believe that is now all of my shooting. Um, so I am gonna kill this guy. Okay. And this guy. This guy is in range of the objective. Sure. Okay. So we'll be back in Grey Knight's charge phase in just a sec. Not Grey Knight's. Imperium. Imperium charge phase in just a sec. We're back in the Imperium charge phase. So. Let's get things started. We'll go over here to the easier ones, although I'm in a crater, so it's minus two. Yep. Yep. So, Grey Knights, they're going to charge into these angles. See what I get. That'll be an eight. That should be fine. I'll move them in a bit. Mm -hmm. Knight, big Knight, he's going to go into them as well. Yep, he's yeah. fine as well. Come over to here. So, the 10 man unit, they're going to try and charge the. Um, Pay bearers. So let's see what we get. Oh, oh okay. that'll do it. So okay. I'm just wondering where we're actually going to charge this other unit now. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, so um they got a eleven, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So let's leave that there. Just sort of move them in, in a bit. 
five man unit, they're going to go in. On an eight, nope. Um, I'm just going to use first of the fray to reroll that. On a nine. I'm not sure. The yeah, we'll have a look. Yep, that should do it. Or, don't know, it's close. It's very, is very the, close. Uh, is, that, is he part of the 10 then? Uh, no. I'll leave it. Yeah, sorry. Maybe, um... Nope. So just out, I think. Yeah, just out. Yep. Okay, that's fine. That'll be all the charges. So, um, we'll come back in the fight phase once everything's moved in, just a sec. So, we're back off the end of the charge. Um, I did forget to charge those. We tried to charge them into the cultists. Cultists Overwatch didn't do anything. They charged, they didn't do anything, um, got a five and a one, re-rolled the one, still didn't make it in, so I'm down to six CP. These guys just stayed here. They've all moved in over there. Knight's just um, cozied up to the Zangors. These guys uh, rolled an eight, so they get to move six because they're moving for a crater. So they've just gone around there. And yep, these guys have just slammed straight into the plate bearers. So we'll go straight onto the fight phase. I'm actually gonna start with these guys. Cool. So I'm just going to pile them in. So we're just going to go into the nearest model. Do my kids. Just going to go in there. Cool. So it will be 31 attacks. Get there eventually. So 31 attacks. Hit on threes because they're not over 20 now. And no rerolls. That's not looking good. So far, that's cold. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's yeah. So, uh, we're going to pause because we need to get a hammer hand off. And I can reroll all failed wounds because they are demons. Only technically. What do you mean technically? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be more demon like. <laughs> okay, so that is five. 10, 8, uh, 30. 30. Uh, 5 up in bun. Yep. Oh, 4. Yep. So 93 damage. Oh, the D3. Yep. They are force weapons. So you have, it's cocked. Cocked again. Okay. So you have 4 ones. So 4 ones. 3 die. Okay. Uh, you have three twos and two threes. So yep. three three twos. Yep. So five, yeah, five. dies. Five to another two and two threes. Dead. 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 Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to. You know, interrupt. <sighs> It'll be nice to kill some grey knights. Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, so I'm down to four. So I'm going to see if I get CP back. Does it get uh, you back around? Oh no, it's not. No, no, I won't say. Yeah. Um, so, pile in. Mm -hmm. Moves. So we'll, um, we'll just come back after the pile in's done and we'll grab some dice. 13 into the Moirax and then we've got 9 into the Grey Knights. Yep. Do you do Grey Knights first? Yeah, I'll do Grey Knights first. Okay. Um, 6, 10. 16, 18. Uh, I'm going to spend another CP to veterans. Yep. Okay. So threes and three. threes and threes on the grey knights. Yep. Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Much worse. Yeah. Uh, that is seven saves at minus one. Okay. Screw up the dice. Six, seven. So you need four ups here because. Big rings. Ooh. Uh, okay, so two, so five dead. That's the unit. Cool. Works out around the ends. And then 26, 27 attacks against the Morax. Morax. Yep. Uh, threes. Mm -hmm. Uh, the veterans, so four still. Some of those expert veteran goat men. Quite a few for that. Seems about average. Nine. Okay, I'm just going to use your dice. Eleven pounds of average. 
So four ups here. So we draw four. Cool. Down to three remaining. Yep. I'm going to go on to the night now. So the twelve packs. Um, they're not minus to hit, are they? Nope. Okay. So one and a two. I'm going to spend one TP. So I'm down to five. Wherever it is. Uh, to make sixes explode, basically. So. So six is into a three? Yeah, six is a three hit. So 12 attacks um, into the Zangors, hitting on threes, re-rolling everything, six is exploding. <laughs> Lucky that. So you got the re-rolls. Yeah, still got the re-rolls, but no sixes so far. Just one. Okay, so that explodes, that one misses. It's weird when there's like 12 attacks, you know, you're like, yes, you got 11 yeah. hits. So, uh, wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. That um, is a wound. Five, nine, eleven. Uh, yep, eleven. Four up in one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> look at that. Don't That's eleven to, dead. Don't have to look at that. <laughs> then it doesn't happen. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Uh, cool. Okay, um, so Moirax. I guess technically it's my turn to choose, because that's all the charges, but if we don't do the Marx, go for the Marx. Uh, it's my initiative, isn't it? Oh yes. Sorry, Andy. So, um, do I spend the CP? Down to four. Um, no, I'm not going to spend the CP. Is it? So, I, I thought it bracketed when it was down to three. I'm pretty sure it does. So okay. I'm pretty sure it's hitting on sixes now. Because um, minus one as well. Because of its core. Oh yes. So threes, up to fours, up to fives, up to sixes. Cool. But re-rolling everything apart from fives. Why is it re-rolling? Oh no, he's not, because it's just the other round of combat, isn't it? Yep, so that's nothing. Cool. I, I think the knight did his work. Yeah. yeah. So what uh, I'm going to do, um, yep, you get to fight back here. Uh, Jeffy's still alive. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, six, nine, ten attacks. Okay. So hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Wounding on fours, re-rolling for plague swords. Cool. Uh, six wounds. If you could copy my angles here, it'd be brilliant. Any minus? No. Okay. So leaving three up here. Uh, two dead. Nice. Okay. Him and him. Cool. Um, I'm going to spend three CP mm -hmm. and fight again. With very nice, cool. So, um, lost two, so six attacks less, so that'll be 25. So, 25 attacks back into the plague bearers 10, 15, 20, 25. Nice again. So, uh, threes, three rolls. Doesn't look great again. That's terrible. Wow, look at that. Might not matter. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't matter. So this will be fours, re rolling for the seconds. Okay, a few re rolls in there. Okay, so. Ten? Uh, ten, yep. So five up in buns and then D3 damage. Plus four? Okay, so. 63 damage. Six. <laughs> five ones, one three. So, oh, five ones. Uh, oh, here. One three. Die, so only two more. Oh, uh, three. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, I can't count. Um, cool. Was that worth three CP? Probably not. Um, I probably sh should have got quite a few more hits in there. That was a really bad roll, but um, I'm just going to move around. Do my consolidate and just trap that one in combat. Cool. Okay, so that is the end of my turn and that is the end of the battle round. So, so morale. Uh, just need a second. Yeah, so we, we, got we got this auto run. Okay. So I want to run. Cool. So that's the first strike, which is good. Well, cool. Got that. Uh, the plague squad here, I'm going to roll for. They've okay. lost a couple. Yeah. yeah, just get a one. Nope. Uh, so four, they've lost 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So that's 15. Mm -hmm. They leave ship 7, so there's another 8. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oops. Um, can I just have a second to think if I want to yeah, that's fine. something else? So back in the morale phase, um, Ewan's just decided to roll for it, which means that they will die. So yep, they're gone. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the battle round. So I hold the active one, so I get two here. Mm -hmm. Ewan gets one there. Yep. One there. Yep. And I get another one here. So I've got three. Ewan's got two. Two. So uh, we both. And get, you get first. We both get first, right? Oh yes. So um, that is four to three. Three. Yep. Four to three. Uh, going into chaos uh, round two, so we'll be back in just a second. We're back in chaos after the move of phase turn two. Another filthy demon incursion happened. So <laughs> it needs to, otherwise this has been a very short game. <laughs> so just going on to the characters. So these guys are all pretty much advanced, haven't they? Araman um, got an eight. Yeah, if you'd yeah. got. So if he'd got a nine, he would have been in range to death hex the knight. Um, but sadly, he. Um, he wasn't dealing eight. with the reroll. Yeah, so you and spent CP to reroll it, um, and still got, still got two again. So um, I rolled for my Curls of Quilla, so I got CP back, so I'm on three now. You and on two, two. Okay. Um, everything else pretty much just kind of moved up a little bit. Obviously, twenty man blood letter bombs come down. Uh, twenty and a bit. Twenty five, twenty six. Okay, twenty five ish blood letter bomb, and. 20 pink horrors. 20 pink horrors yep. come down. Uh, Demon Prince of Zeech, well, Thousand Sons Demon Prince, um, has moved up and also the um, Change Caster. Yes. Yes, AP. Um, Zangor's still in Deep Strike, so do you want to just go straight onto Psychic? Cool, handy. Uh, so we're going to start off trying to put um, Infernal. Uh, not Infernal. Demonic Fire to them. Plus one to wound from the change caster on there. Uh, flicker and flames. That's the one. Know your army better than you do. I know, it's embarrassing. Uh, Warp charge you. five. That's five, cool. That's and that's cool. a fail. Uh, you've got plenty of denies around there anyway. Cool. May strength five. Strength, mm -hmm. uh, the strength three base. Yep. You get plus, plus one for being struck him, so yep. the strength four. Yeah, cool. Um, I will then try and smite from the Steven Prince. Okay. These dice are fired. <laughs> uh, and he is going to glamour of Zeech himself, because he's fabulous, clearly. Okay. Yay! Uh, um, I will... I'll attempt to deny with these guys. So, what was that? A seven. Uh, seven. Okay, so I need a seven here. Let's get plus one. Boom. Cool. Uh, the horrors will try and smite. Okay. Uh, nice. They do on a six. Hooray! So, just want to see how many more I've got in here. Let me just measure that up. Uh, something I'm short of that squad. Out. Okay, so um, he's got miasma, doesn't he? He does. Guy, uh, how many? Is it just D3 damage? It is D3, D3 while okay. there. Yeah. Um, I don't really mind about miasma, but. Like every loss, the Grey Knights is massive, so um, I want to try and deny that. So you've got a six. Six, so you need a six here. No. Um, really low on CP at the moment as well. No, I'll leave that. So D3 got wins. Okay, just so the one. Just one. Okay, that's fine. So I'll take one of the guys in the front. Yeah, I feel like Green Light should have some protection against mortal wounds from the warp or something, but Yeah, it would be nice. It would be very nice. What's the um what is the army that gets protection? Uh custodies do. And Black Templars? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Black Templars better at um ignoring psychic than Grey Knights. Uh but you do get more nice, to be fair. Okay. Yeah. So Miasma from the Herald on the Plague Bearers. Yep. Let's fail again. Yeah. Okay. This psychic phase has been rather underwhelming. Yeah, it's not been good, has it? Cool. Uh, so Araman is going to smite. Uh, sadly, he's got to be closest to them. So he'd like to have smitten the knight. He's four signs. Uh, so that is a seven. Plus yeah. one to cast. So nothing in range. So yep, yeah, it's just D3 more wounds. Just ha! Goodbye. 
Uh, proteins, no useful. Warp time. Ooh, he's got a warp time himself. Okay. Goes off. Okay. I forgot that was a thing. And get him in range <laughs> to try and. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, so need to show a six. Actually, I'll come back to him. I'm going okay. to do my gaze of fate from this guy first. Yep. Nope. Uh, then the, this guy's going to smite. Closest target is the knight. Okay. That is a seven. Four, three. Okay. Um, three command points. Okay, so I think um, just because I'm so low on CP, I'm not going to um, give myself a turn of pain. So, cool. Yep, he just takes a So he's down to 17. Okie dokie. And then Death X. Yep. On the knight for reasons. Oh, no. that's a six. What do I need for it? It's an eight. It's an eight. Yeah. So that's essentially a four with plus one. And I am going to CP that. So one red light remaining. You sure four? Yes. Okay, it goes off. He's dead next. Doesn't have a vulnerable save. Oh. What is the range on death X? 12 normally. Thousand suns get plus six uh, to cast. Yep, so 18 inch. Uh, so shooting phase. Okay. Um, it's going to be pretty short, isn't it's it? To, well, it's going to take a while, but yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's so. one unit. Um, there are 60 shots. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put 40 shots into this squad. Okay. And 20 shots into that squad. Okay. Um, I'll just do 20 first. Why not? 5, 10. And then you can just do 20 and then 10. 20. Uh, um, 20 and then 20. Yeah, 20, 20, 20. So, 20 shots. Yep. Getting on a four. These guys. Rerolling Re ones. Uh, yep. Okay. Very good. Actually, I've got to put 21 into them because I can't split far a model. Okay. Um, so put one more into them. Uh, ooh, roll ones. Three in there. Good start. That's pretty good. Uh, no help for the rerolls. Uh, so fours and fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just grab some dice. Six. No minus. So, perhaps. Uh, one dead. So, yeah. so, the one with the broken sword. This twice more. Minus one dice for the last bit. Yep. Uh, so, fours again. Cocked. Re rolling the ones. Not nearly as good as last one, but still pretty good, I think. So, get rid of the one dice now. Uh, yep. Fours. So, six, seven. Seven so far. Okay, just grab the dice. Seven saves, and perhaps one dead. Second half. Second half minus one. End of shooting. Okay. Possibly my last shooting phase of the game. <laughs> uh, assault. Yeah, uh, you just want to go straight into the charge. Yep. So yep. the Bob Letters will charge definitely these guys. Mm -hmm. um, just those guys. Okay. So, so three to six charge. Overwatch. So you're all locked in combat. Oh, of course, yeah. I keep forgetting the Zangles are still there. Well, you've ignored them so far with their saves. <laughs> uh, so you need to show an 8 to get plus 1. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're back in Chaos Flight Phase. We're putting 43 into the Big Knight and 6 into the Moirax. Cool. So, so 6 to the Moirax first. Yep. Uh, so. He's hit on 3 base. And there's more than 20 to get plus 1, so he's hitting on 2s. Okay. Nice. Uh, strength 5 on the charge. Okay. So winning on 5, 6s are AD 2. Uh, damage 2. So three wounds. Oh, sorry. Uh, two wounds at AP three. One is damage one. One is damage two. Okay. So damage one, needing a six. Nope. AP three. Yes. So okay. Saves okay. damage two. Saves damage two. So just just takes one. 
Cool. Two. Two. Yep. Uh, and then 43 attacks into the knight. Yep. So got 20 one. here. Yep. Another three. So hitting on a two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job of hitting on twos. So hitting on 20 hits. Yep. So five, five and sixes. No invulnerabilities to worry about. Ooh, good. So first half to six. Four damage one and four damage two. Okay. So four damage two. So needing the sixes, minus three again. Yep. Nope. So, eight eight eight. so he's down to ten. And then uh, yeah, he's down to four, down to six. Cool. Second half. Or second like twenty. Six misses. Okay. Less good. Very much less good. One, One of each. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so he's, he's alive. So, uh, two damage, if you six, and one damage. Okay, so he takes two more. So he's down to four. <laughs> okay. Um, at this point, I'm going to spend CCP and interrupt. Cool. So I'm down to one. And I'm going to put the big knight into the Zengals. So not using Machine Spirit, I'm hitting on fives because he's bracketed, um, but I'm re-rolling everything because I was charged. Okay, so three so far. Oh, there's another five now. Oh, okay. Four so far, re-rolling all of these. That's pretty good. Winning on twos. Okay, that is seven. seven. This is all in standards, yeah? Yep. Fives. Pass it now. Oh, yep. Okay. So, uh, four dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. One left. Uh, two left. Two left. Okay, so still can't kill the knight, which is really good. Um, could kill the knight. Oh, could kill the knight. Got two attacks each other. Yeah, high roll. But uh, yeah, I'll go with this angle next. Yep. Five attacks. Okay. Uh, hitting on three. This knight is a character, yeah? He's a character, yep. So you re roll all the velvets. That's because of relic hunters. Four hits. Four hits. Technically possible. <laughs> Fives. Two okay. hits. Okay. So, uh, minus, minus one. one, so needing fours here. Nope, no. You do take two wins, I think. He's down to two. Okay. Cool. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, you get to fight with the oh, Morax. Yeah, Morax. So, this will be um, sixes because of his claw. Cool. We were on that. Because he was charged. Nothing. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to pile in the bug letters. Okay. Just keep the Morax trapped. Yep. Just keep it like that. Okay. Uh, yep. So we'll be back in. Oh, have you got a morale on singles? Uh, kill four. E ship seven. Uh, yep. They're gone. Okay. Cool. Uh, bug letters didn't lose any. No. Any morale here? Uh, these guys, so I lost I lost two in the last round, so they're down to eight. So I lost five, so uh, the leadership eight. Uh, okay, so I'm going to reroll that because it's green. Oh, <laughs> is that the squad? Uh, five, eleven. Five. Yeah, yep. it's three dead. Okay. Uh, they're fine because they've only lost one. Mm -hmm. so. Um, yep, yeah, we'll be back in Imperium turn two in just a sec. It's after Imperium movement phase. Uh, turn two? Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. So turn two, just after movement phase, um, Grandmaster's moved up a little bit. This unit, um, they haven't used their teleport shunt, they've just moved, oh no, they've already used it, they moved 12. These guys moved 12, just towards the Pink Horrors. This unit, 10 man unit of Scions and the Tempesta Prime, they've just moved down. Uh, drop down, so just out of uh, six, uh, not six, no. 12, ugh, <laughs> nine, nine from the um, Pink Horrors. Myrax has moved up 14, um, depending on how he removes Plague Bearers if we kill any, um, he might get a charge in. We use his Flamer. These guys have just moved up a little bit, um, just to get one of them into rapid fire range um, to shoot the Plague Bearers again. 
My axe is trapped in combat still, so um, I can't shoot at these guys. So Grey Knights, um, they haven't used their shunt, so they've still got a shunt. Um, they've just moved 12 over the top of the building. Guy with Kurov's Aquila, he's just moved forward a little bit just to give um, these some orders. And, oh yeah, uh, Knight, I use Machine Spirit Resurgence on him, so he's acting on max profile for my turn. So he's falling back out of combat. Coming over here, looking to shoot some Plague Bearers and charge some Demon Princes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just what I mentioned, um, Grandmaster is within 24 of the Pink Horrors, but out of 24 of all the others. So um, I believe I need a 6 anyway <laughs> to cast Sanctuary. Yeah, so, only to die on 1d6. Yeah, so, yeah, so 1d6 denied, but I need a 6 to cast it anyway, so that's fine. So we'll, um, we might as well just get straight onto the Psychic Phase, to be honest. Because What's that? I don't have a lot. So, I'm going to start with these guys over here, because um, they've only got Astral Aim, um, they're just going to smite into the Pink Horrors. And that does go off with the boss one. So, uh, one of these two here will deny. Yep. That's denied. Denied. Yep, fine. These guys aren't in range of anything, they've just got Astral Aim as well, so there's no point. He will cast Sanctuary on himself. That fails. Um, got no CP, so that's fine. He's also out of range of uh, smite. These guys, they're just going to smite into the um, blood, letters. blood letters, which goes off on a uh, nine. nine. Uh, Aramon will try and deny. Uh, nope. Nope. That's an eight. Okay. So three more wounds, because they are demons. Ow. One, two, three. Okay. And that is the end of my psychic phase. So we'll be back in shooting in just a sec. Just starting off with the uh, shooting phase, um, Tempest Prime is going to use first rank fire, second rank fire on these guys. And this one in here is also going to use first rank fire, second rank fire, these guys, because they're within six. So um, I'm going to start off with these grey knights over here. So it'll be 16 shots. Just grab the dice. They don't have any. Did you get any psychic buffs off on anyone? Uh, the prince might have made himself minus one to hit, but not on the horrors. Yeah, uh, he did. Yeah, you glamoured him, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, so. This will be hitting on threes, no re rolls. Unfortunately. Not a good roll. Toughest three. Yep. So three's the wind. Uh, that is six. Four up in buttons. That is correct. Two die. Okay. And so that's. 16, another 2. So this is 18 shots from the um, Scions unit because there's um, 9 with hot shot and 1 with a pistol. So um, hitting on 3s. Okay. Uh, very good. And moving on 4s. So the top is 3. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And three number more. three. Okay. So I'm going to come onto these guys, Storm Bolters, and just be ten shots. So threes, we're on one, this is Grand Master. Just can't. Okay, we're on that one. Wound on three. Uh, seven. Uh, yep. Seven saves. Four die. Four die. So moving on to the this other unit of science. Uh, one is within half range, so it'd be um, four shots, and six is explode because ten is science. No, nope, none of them there. <laughs> and then it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Six from the other ones. This is into the Blake Bearers. Are they uh, minus one? Sorry, six from where? These guys. They're first rank five, second rank five. Oh. Okay. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, one fail. Fine. Okay. In that case, we'll go straight into the Grey Knights here. It'll be uh, ten shots. So not in rapid fire. Hitting the threes. 
Okay. And wounding on walls. Three. Three wounds. Uh, two fail, pull my pains. Two die. Okay. So let's kill this chap and this chap. Okay, so cool. So I'm going to go on to the Moirax, he's going to put everything in display bearers. So I'm going to do his rad first. So rad. <laughs> decent shots. Two. Always wounds even three on twos. Uh, one wound. Uh, oh, one damage. It's fine. Cool. And then lightning lock. Six shots. Two on threes. Okay, no explosions. And we on threes. That gives two wounds. Uh, five up. One damage. And five up. And there's a pass. Okay, we'll just do the knight. So knight is going to put everything into play bearer unit. I think we're still accepting recruits, <laughs> even in his damaged state. So it'll be 12 shots from the Avenger. So this will be threes because um, he's Machine Spirit Resurgent and rerolling ones because of the first time. Okay, reroll these ones. Okay, two miss. Ten hits. We got threes. That is ten hits. Ten wounds. Four, three, six, eight. Uh, so five up hit buttons. Mm-hmm. Pass couple. Okay, and then it's flat two damage. So I'll roll these definitely pass, I'll re-roll them. Okay. So four definitely dead. Mm-hmm. One doesn't die, so okay. six die. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, rapid fire battle cannon, 2 6 shots. Oh, ho, 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 He's not feeling it at all. Oh, machine spirit is um, first angry. Yeah, angry. angry machine spirit. Winning on twos. Okay, not four, but uh, so that is six. six. So five ups and that's D3 damage. Cool. So five. five. Okay, so you've got two ones, two twos, and they're dead. Okay. Is that a unit? That is a unit. Okay, cool. So all the um, blade bearers are gone. Yeah, I don't think there's any more shit. Oh, apart from the Grandmaster. So. Should be still be in range. Yep. Yeah, it's in range. Okay, cool. So we'll do Gatling Silencer, Heavy Side Cannon into the Pink Horrors. Cool. Uh, you can do all the same time if you want. Oh, no, the side, no, sorry. I'm talking rubbish. Uh, the, yeah, the are winning. Oh, no. Yeah, three, side, uh, yeah threes and twos. Yeah, side Cannon's winning and twos. So side Cannon, three rolling ones. Okay. And winning on twos. Uh, four wounds. Uh, two dead. Okay. And then 12 shots from the silencer. Ah! Shot was 12. No, I'm missing a dice. There it is. So threes because he moved. Three rolling ones. And that was pretty good. And 10 hits again. Uh, three on threes. That is. Eight. Five. Eight. Yep. Uh, that is. Good. Four. Three. Four dead. Four, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So that is now all my shooting. So we'll be back in the charge phase in just a sec. Okay, so Grey Knights, not Grey Knights, Imperium. Um, charge phase. The Big Knight is going to go into the uh, Corn Demon Prince, and I guess I'm going to have to charge Araman as well. Cool. Araman will throw a crack grenade. Okay. Good finish him. Oh! Should have done veterans. <laughs> nah. Okay. So tempted for a CP there. Okay, see what he gets. Easy. I'll do it. So, Pumpkins both stay out of three inches of the Demon Prince, cool. if possible. Yeah, you're fine there. Cool. So, this unit, Grey Knights, they're going to go into the Pink Horrors. Cool. Uh, two shots each. Okay. This number. Uh, yep. Nothing in no rerolls. Okay. Okay, see what we get. Four, um, 
Yep, okay. So I'll just do their pylons in a minute. Cool. Um, this unit very nice, they're going to go into the blood letters. Basically, just need to roll, not roll a double one. Yep, that's fine. And eight will do it. So we'll come back in the fight phase after I've done all of my charges. Okay, so we're back in the Imperium fight phase. These Grey Knights were just wrapped around the Pink Horrors. Essentially what I'm trying to do is uh, get within the objective so that I can then pile in closer to it, kill the Pink Horrors and then consolidate without getting heroically intervened so that I hold that. So we go, I'm actually going to heroically intervene here into base for what it's worth. Okay, so um, I forgot to declare the charge, so we just did it off camera. Moirax charged into the um, Plaguebearer. He couldn't throw any hurt at me, so that's <laughs> fine. Knight's just gone into Araman and the Demon Prince of Corn. Grey Knights have just gone into the Blood Letters, so um, Ewan doesn't have any CP to interrupt, so I'm just going to run through all of my combat. Yeah, it's the one CP left. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to start over here with these guys. So he's going to now pile in to here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move around a little bit more. Cool. And go there. Cool. So four of them left, and the Sergeant, I think. Yep. So he gets four attacks. Each of the other ones gets three, so nine. Cool. So he on threes, no rolls. That looks a bit better than uh, we combat. Wounding on threes, re-rolling. Re-rolling those two fails. Okay, that is five, Eight. six. Corpse, uh, four die. One is left, so I'll keep the okay. Bear. Okay, cool. And then we've got. So I'll just do my consolidate. Close as possible. Should not say outside of the edge of the prince. Yeah. Yep. Don't have to. So we'll come onto this dude now. Into the Morax. So it'll be four attacks. Mm -hmm. It'll fours. Rerolling everything because of press. Okay. Rerolling that. Three hits. Three's miss. Uh, five. Yep, so twos. Two at minus four. Five up the vulnerable. Nope, fell both. 2d6 damage. Ooh. Ten. He is dead. He's got a feeling of pain. Oh, he's got a feeling of pain. How many wounds has he got? Five. Uh, I think so. I'll check if it matters. Um, three, six, eight, ten was it? Yep. Not seven. No. Cool. So he's dead. Then we'll just go on to the night. I'm going to put everything into the uh, Cool Demon Prince. So it'll be 12 attacks. So, so 12 attacks into the Cool Demon Prince, hitting all threes and re rolling everything. Just as well. That's a few fails. Okay, so we have these. Okay, two miss. Win for six. Yep, so win the threes. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah. So it's eight. I see you, so five ups. Five up armor or in one. Oh, so seven, don't roll seven ones. And he's dead. Is it seven gone through? Yeah. He's got eight wounds. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Cool. So attacks. Oh, no, still got the. Yep, so okay. Grey Knight's here. Um, the Steve's just going to pile in. So that would be 16 attacks. So five, 10. 15, 16, so way. So hitting on threes. Let's just play. Wing on threes. Mm -hmm. And re rolling because you're a demon. Okay, so that is 5, 10, 11, minus 2. 11 saves five up. That's cool. Okay. Uh, it's past three, so eight are dead. Okay. Um, three, five. Cool. So, why it's not in combat anymore? Um, so I can't initiate with him. Uh, yes, just we'll see you now. So, one attack back from the big horror. Yeah. Uh, it's a hit. That is a wound. It is straight for when he's close to the heralds. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Aramin? Yep. I think he's four attacks base. Don't think he's got a fifth. 
Go and double check. Yeah, four attacks. So five with yep. Angels of Death or the Chaos version of. Uh, five hits. Mm -hmm. Strength six. So fives. Four. Three wounds. AP one. Okay, so flat damage three. Four ups. Cool. Ooh. So flat three. Do you explode? Oh, flat three? Yes. Oh, okay. Do I explode? Please uh, don't. Please don't. Oh, no. Oh, five. <laughs> five. <laughs> he is dead. Oh. Uh, and bloodless attacks back? Yep. So. So bloodless attacking back. This guy. This guy. This guy comes around the corner. This guy can get within the chip cell there. Cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 31 attacks. 6, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 31. Uh, so they're hitting on threes now. Mm -hmm. Not many dice. I think that one was a hit. Uh, strength five when they're charged or charging. So winning on threes. That many at AP three. Okay. I'm about to get one of these sixes. No, they don't. <laughs> uh, and they have activated, so they will pile in. Seven. Yeah, so the couple of ones this way will move that way. First was the human sea. Cool. Cool. So round. Uh what? needs a one. A lot. If he yeah. gets a one though, D6 come back. Nope. That's no, a six. Can't be opposite. Opposite. He's gone. Oh. Okay. Uh, and the blood letters. Yep. Uh that's a four. They lost uh so three plus the four is the thing. So they lost five and eight, so another eight to go. Okay. One, two, one. That's five. One, two, three. I've killed the sergeant. Okay, so just thinning the thinning the hall a little bit. There's still a um still another unit of Zangles to come down. But um yeah, it's getting it's getting pretty um Low on both sides, to be honest. So uh, we'll be back with Chaos's turn in just a sec. We just forgot we're going to do the um, the points. So the active objective was number one, mm -hmm. holding. So there's two. There's one there. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, and you should be within. No. Nope. Okay. So five, and you don't get any points. <laughs> so what is that? Uh, oh, on three still. Eight. Two. Uh, three. Yes. Yeah, so eight to three for the Imperium. We'll be back with uh, Chaos turn three in just a sec. I was going to say more filthy demons, but evidently these are not demons. No, they're mutants. They're mutants. They're mutants. Do you hate demons. the X-Men? Is that what the, this is? <laughs> so, uh, end of end? End of uh, movement. Movement. And also start of battle round three for Chaos. Uh, we rolled for the objective again. It's number three. Again, over here. So, blood letters have just moved up. Araman's moved up, looking to probably smite and kill possibly bolt pistol. Possibly bolt pistol. This demon prince has moved up to my falling morax. This demon prince has just moved around a little bit, and the Zangor twenty. Huh? Actually, do you mind if I tw tweak their movement actually slightly? Yeah, I don't want, sure. to get them, yeah, want to get them off the. Just have it so they're not going through the. Yeah, thing sure. Okay, get so. There. Um, 20 man's angle blob has just come down. Um, do you want to go straight into your psychic? Yeah, sure. Uh, so this is our first. Araman's going to smite. Yep. Cox. Yes. <laughs> sure. So, uh, perils and also super smite. Cool. So the perils, Araman takes three. Three. Okay. You take four. four. Okay, so he said. Doesn't really matter if he blows up because there's nothing around. Um, the demon prince over here. Okay, so Demon Prince into that more X. Uh, goes off on eight. Okay, I will try and lie if anyone's in range. Uh, I think yeah. so. Yep, yeah. okay. 
So needing an eight here because it's plus one. Nope. That is a Ferrell's on the die. Just the one. Just the one. Okay, so he's down to eleven. Uh he's going to give himself a three of inbound. Sure. He'll try and give himself a three oh, of inbound. Weaver, yeah. Uh first go off. Okay. Uh, on to this one. Uh he's going to smite them. Okay. That goes off. It's off. Uh, seven? Yes. Yes, yeah, so sorry. I forgot to deny. You're denied. Denied. You're super denied. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got the name of my powers wrong there. He had the minus one to hit. Okay. He's got the plus one in So did you want to keep Miasma on him? Uh, I was I was rolling as if it was him doing his power. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll do his other power. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to try and give himself the in run. Yep. Just needs a seven. <laughs> I guess I guess <laughs> okay. it works. Yeah, um, he doesn't have a plus one though, so I will. Oh yeah, so you could you could on a yeah. Yeah, so thing. I will, so we'll I take one more wound regardless. He takes a mortal wound, but he's got a three up in one. Nope. Nope. Uh, cool. uh, that's my CP dice. I've only got one left. It's fine. Did you uh, use a CP? No, I'm just using that for oh, his okay. yes, wound counter for now. Um, because I would like to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so, shooting phase? Yep. So Don't what? think Aram is in range of anything anymore? Nope. nope. So Straight to this off phase. Oh, uh, sorry, I have one more cast from here if you don't mind me doing that. Yeah, go for it. So he's yeah. going to smite. Okay. Uh, fail, should have done him first. Yeah. Um, assault phase. Yep, so strange and charges. Prince into. Okie dokie. So, six shots with the lightning lock. Nothing. Go. And then d6 from the rad. One. Always wounds. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. He's yep, in. He's definitely in. Just move around there. Go. Uh, let's do Prince into these chaps. Yep, so. Let me just grab some dice. Should be 12 here, so. Do this 12, and then I've got another, uh, another 4. Okay, one hit, another 4. Two hits. Fives. Nothing. Cool. Yep, he's definitely in. Need that again in a second. So, let's do the Zangor. Yep. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's not there. Uh, Zangor into. These guys and the Tempestus have been to try and roll around through there. Okay, sure. So, Tempestus, could you just do a measure and see if... Oh no, they're not going to be in hot, are they? Because they deep strike, oh, yeah. so... Um, it'll be... Um, just nine shots, because mm -hmm. orders don't work. You know, what should do that. So, nine shots from the Tempestus. Uh, one. Uh, Faust Wound, and then the Grey Knights. So... These, these guys should be within uh, rapid fire, so yeah. it's 12 inch, so yeah, so three, three rapid fire, so one, two, and three, and then just two more, four more, rather. so sixes, and I am re-rolling ones because the Grandmaster. Ooh, no, two hits, three hits, uh, wound on fours. That is three wounds. Uh, five up in one. That is three dead. Okay, cool. Is it back. Uh, three dead on the way in. Um, I'm assuming they've got the, is it the horn? It's the horn, yeah. the great horn. Yeah. So, he's an eight. He's an eight. I'll Get do it. it. Uh, so, uh, I'll come back and move them in a second. Yeah, sure. Um, and the blood letters here mm -hmm. are going to charge both infantry squads, okay. they're not going to charge your commander. Okay, sure. So, yeah. They'll all be in rapid fire, so. Okay, so eight shots from these guys. Oh no, there's a. Seven. Uh, yeah, there's a, bolt. there's a pistol in there. So, which um, I don't think is in half range, because it's half range for the exploding hits. Oh, for the pistol? Yeah, so uh, three inches. inches. Uh, yeah, you're in. Yeah, okay, so, so, sixes, <laughs> four extra it shots. shots. It's shots, yeah, it's not, um, it's not automatic hits. So, four extra shots. Oh, yeah, another one. Okay, good Five. boys. Wooding on fours. Oh, I need two. That is about average, I think. Yeah, two guys. Uh, yeah, assuming this guy and probably this guy and this guy can see. So, yeah. three. Uh, uh, can you just measure up? No. Yeah, so, so one rapid fire. 
No. No. Okay, so one rapid fire and then just two normal shots. So sixes again. No. Cool. Charge distance yep. is a seven. So seven there. Seven, yep. Um what can I do here? Okay. I'm gonna to need to do some measuring. Um, yeah, do you want to come back? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll come back after we've moved the blood letters and zangles and we'll be back in the fight phase. Okay, so we've just done the movement of the blood letters and zangles. Blood letters um, couldn't really string them out and also didn't charge the guy in here, which you and was aware about, you didn't want to charge him. Um, there's no point in wrapping him just to have him attack for free. So uh, they've just gone in there. Zangles, they've come up. Um, piled in already? Yeah, they've already done their pile in, so we're going to start with Zangles. So, do you know how you're going to split it? Um, have these guys on the them. Uh, so we'll have three, six on the yep. them. Yep. And the rest on them. So, okay. uh, six on them, 14 on them, including the champion. Okay, sure. Just do the six on there. Six on the sign first. Yep. Um, six. Nine, twelve, okay. uh, threes, not bad, and threes. Ooh. So that is five. Okay, minus one. Yep. Yep. So we've got five ups here. We'll just leave the characters on. I uh, make none of them. So five are dead. So we'll take these guys out. Cool. Cool, uh, and then fifth, uh, about 14, 29 attacks on the Grey Knights. Okay. Five, the ten, fifteen. I really hope so. <laughs> uh, I'll do fifteen and then fourteen. Sure. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, not the best start. No, that's quite a few drop there. And then it'd be four. Yep. Three Four, so far. Three. Okay. And then. You just up on that. Yeah, so okay. second half. Uh, yeah, three so far. And then four. That's better. Uh, that's a two in there. Seven in total. Okay, so. I need four ups here, and there's only five of them left, so I should be left with what, maybe one or two. Oh! No, not with that roll. They're dead. Cool. Um, I will consolidate them in. So you shouldn't be able to wrap them, but. No, that's not past 50. Oh, uh, but I will just keep things tagged. Yep. Um, Demon Prince. Demon Prince is the Grey Knights. Eight attacks now. So, uh, four in profile, three for talents, yep. one for yep. hit for assault. Uh, hitting on twos. Yep. Rerolling ones. And because he hates Imperium, he gets an extra attack. Which hits. Uh, strike seven, so threes. Okay, so seven. Seven. Yep. yep. So seven at minus two, so I'll need five up to uh, oh. nope, the dead. There you go. Uh, over here, Demon Prince. Yep, Demon Prince is the Moirax. Big roll this. Yeah. It's, uh, right, lots of sixes. No. No sixes. We roll the ones. One six. Mm -hmm. No, we roll the one. Yep. It's in the end. Okay. Uh, strength eight, toughness. No, strength seven, sorry, toughness. Seven, sorry. Fours. Fours. Just three. Ooh. Five ups. Five, right, mate. One takes all damage. He's down to seven. So not degraded. Not degraded. degraded. No. So do you want to do the blood letters? Yep. Um, yes, try point this guy for what it's worth. Yep. Um, five of them, 11 attacks. Mm -hmm. Is it if they're over 20 that they get plus one to hit? Yeah, yeah. so they're hitting on threes. Okay. And killing on threes. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Cool. Uh, attacks back. Yep. Yeah, so. They'll just be able to attack anyway, um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother piling them in because I don't really want them to go any other way. What I'm gonna do, I'll start with the Tempest Prime. Um, we'll be back once I know what he does. Just coming back into my um, 
fighting back. So the Tempest Prime and the Sergeant are both going to attack the Zangles at the same time because they're the same profile. So uh, it'd be four attacks from the Tempest Prime because he's got Chainsword, and three attacks from the Tempestor in the squad. Hitting on threes. And winning on Ice. fives. One wound. Five up. Yeah. Dead. One dies. One dead. And then four attacks. Uh, three hits. No wounds. Okay. Cool. Um, and now the big one. And Moirax. So he's not bracketed yet. So four attacks. Hitting on fours. Re rolling ones and twos because he was charged. Oh, just as well. Oh, just one. Uh, wounding on two strength six. Yeah, uh, six. Twos. So that is one wound. Four up uh, in one. Yep. No. No. Okay. So d six damage. Four. Four. He has four remaining. Yep. Okay. Cool. So um, yeah, that wasn't wasn't too bad. I think his angles did pretty much what they wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. And in the way they can use it themselves. Everything else did what. Was needed, so yep, we'll be back in Imperium turn three in just a sec. Okay, so we're back after morale and my movement. Um, I rolled a six on the um silence, so four of them ran away. Um, these guys couldn't fail, but you and rolled anyway because on uh, they've got banner, so um, they can come back on ones. Mm -hmm. And Zangles lost three, lost four, lost four. Okay, okay, so my movement, my Rex just stayed in combat with the Dean Prince. These guys have moved around. Um, my Tempest Prime's moved up as well, just to get some shots into the blood letters. Grandmaster's just moved um, his full 10 inches, just to try and get, um, he's now within 24 of the blood letters, just in case I need to put some more shots into them. Um, but basically he's probably gonna go in there. Back in the psychic phase, the last psyker I've got is the Grandmaster, so he's gonna use Sanctuary, which goes off on an eight. It's not the Demon Prince with the plus one is gonna try and slay. It's an eight, no. Okay, so he's got three up in one, and then he's going to smite into the Zangles, which fails. Cool, that is my sidekick. We'll come back in the shooting phase in just a second. We're back in the Imperium shooting phase. Um, this Tempest Prime is using first rank, second rank fire on these, and this Tempest Prime is using um, get back in the fight on the Scion. So we'll go straight into the shooting phase. Um, I might as well just do the Scion. So one shot, hits. Doesn't wound. And these guys, so it'll be. Uh, can you just measure this up to see? Uh, what? It's nine. Yeah. Four of them? Okay, so he's got a pistol anyway, so it'll be three and then one, so. Can I back I see? Yeah, there you go. So it'll be. Four, 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 one from the pistol and two from the guy at the back. So. In on threes and sixes explode. Okay, let's get rid of all these and three on fours. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so that was a wound. Uh, so seven. seven, yeah. Uh, oh, three, three dead. dead. Okay. One, two, three. Let's keep the keep the champion and the okay. musician. So he's going to shoot his glass pistol. Hits. Last wound. Okay. So we'll go on to the grandmaster. I'm going to put his um, side cannon into the two blood letters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the silencer into the angles. So we'll do the side cannon first. So threes, three rolling ones. Okay. And oh, just break the train. Uh side cannon, so one or twos. That is four wounds. Any blood letters? Nope. They're dead. Okay. Twelve shots from the silencer. Let's make sure it's twelve. Six. Missing a dice. There it is. So threes because you moved again, three right ones. No ones. Nine hits. Moving on fours. That's pretty good. Uh, that is six. six. 
Pass three then. So okay, three cool. die. Uh, I'll kill the closest one. That one. Uh, check. I think it's only one of the objective there. Okay, and that one. Okay. So that is my shooting. We'll be back in the uh, charge phase. We'll just go straight into it because it's just the Grandmaster. So he's going to charge into the Zangles. Mm -hmm. So yes, that should do it. Yeah. Yep. So it's just got to move in. Um, and yeah, that's it. So we'll go straight into combat. Grandmaster into the Zangles. So you get six attacks now because of Shock Assault. Wing on twos. Little bit. Wing on twos. That is five at minus three. So above and then. Four died. died. And we'll just move on to the Moirax. Uh, oh, yep. So Moirax, uh, hitting on fours, no re rolls. Oh, just mm. one. Uh, twos? Yeah. It is a wound. So. Four up. Yeah. No, no. Re roll. It's my last CP. Okay. No. no. So I do get to see if I get that as well. I do. I get a CP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm less worried about that than what your next job is. <laughs> so. Let's just put that back on the one. So I need a four to kill him. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, uh, okay. So I think we need a morale for the Zengals. Oh, Zengals get to attack. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to call it there though. Um, you sure? I could do a lot of damage, but I'm not going to have enough models to hold the objectives. At this yeah. Point. So what I've got um, at this point, I mean, it's, it's still only turn three. So I it's, know. It's, been it's a crazy it's... bloody game, but. Um, essentially, the Zangles are probably going to run, or at least most of them will. Uh, so you might so get point there. I'll just check. So there's six of them, so they lose d6 plus one. So three go. So they technically there, and I get a point here. Yeah. So um, you I get, get a point, point there. But you get. So that's I, the double yeah, again. So we get the double, so we both get three. So I'm on 12, and you're on. Uh, I'll be on five then. Five. Okay. So um, 12 to five, and then going into turn four. And well. I, can, I can smite things off. Um, yeah. And I'd probably leave you with a Grandmaster alive. Mm -hmm. um, although there's a chance that Araman could get shot up by the thing. And then I just don't yeah. have I don't have the damage to kill the Grey Master and I don't have the models to come back to yeah. hold the objectives to win. Yeah. Um yeah. and the Grandmaster just goes on a, a rampage in that sense. Yeah. 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 That's good. There. So yeah. Cool. It was well played. a really good game. Um yeah, yeah, we'll be back in the wrap up in just a sec. And there we have it. That is Imperium versus Chaos. It was a pretty brutal game. Mm. So uh, um, we kind of you and called it just, and we talked it through um, after we finished. So had the um, Thousand Suns Demon Prince that was in the Moirax, um, had he not died, you and might have been able to pull something out. But now it's kind of just you know my Moir Moirax isn't bracketed, so it can still move fourteen. Um, I still have the Grandmaster on full wounds. That's, with, that's the big one. Yeah, so I can yeah. I can probably kill the Moirax. I can't kill the. Grandmaster without some horrendous rolling. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he, I did get Sanctuary off, so he was on a three up invulnerable as well. So, um, yeah, but it was a really good game. It's so brutal, mm. such a brutal game. I mean, we called it at the end of turn three, and I think if we'd gone into turn four, it would have been a tabling on either, yeah, or near enough kind of. When you sort of uh, got all those points ahead, the plan was, can I try and table you? And it's it's not a long way off for either of us. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they just sit on the ejectors yeah. the last couple of turns. So I've, I've basically got um, the Moirax and the Grandmaster left and then some like bits and bobs here and there. Still a four unit of five scions, but they're not going to be able to do a lot. I can probably move, move, move them and take something, but oh. still got my two Tempesters. And then, yeah, I've just got the Moirax and the Grandmaster. So, um, but... The Grandmaster, because he, he's got so many shots and he's really good in combat as well. And he's got three up in Vun and he's a Psyker. So, yeah, it's quite um, it's quite a lot to have him on full wounds at this late stage of this game. So, yeah, because as, as well, the uh, problem is that I've still got uh, my bits of a spread out across uh, my side of the board. Yeah. If it was a case of he was right in my lines, then. Araman takes him on save off, yeah. smite, smite, smite. So yeah. there's a chance. Yeah. And yeah, um, you, you still got still got Demon Prince left. Um, still got Araman. And Araman's not that bad in combat. Is he strength six? Strength six, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Grandmaster's tough and six, so you probably would have been able to do something. But yeah, like you and said, they're just they're so like spread out that 
Um, it would have taken like a turn or two just to get them into a situation where they could deal with him. And um, even even if I high rolled completely from here and killed all of your stuff and lost nothing in return, yeah, I'm so far behind on points that I can't I can't sit on objectives and kill models. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. I think the this mission's a bit random as well. Um, I mean, you do have the you do have the movement to sort of take advantage of that, but still on it. Two of the turns, so obviously we only played three turns, and on two of the turns we rolled for the one that's in my deployment. I don't think that was that was critical. It perhaps it put wasn't. a little bit of pressure, but it, it wasn't it wasn't the game deciding factor. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but other than get the revenge on me from last time. Yep, yep. Last time was another brutal game. So mm. um, but, uh, it shows because um, last time. I said in the um, in one of the army lists, I completely messed my deployment up, and I just backlined. I don't even know why I backlined in that yeah. game because you can just teleport. But um, this game, I sort of took my time and made sure because you know we're not we're not really bringing I had like ten months of preparation for this. One. <laughs> yeah, we're not really bringing casual lists. To the you know, um, although I'm bringing grey knights, it's quite a nasty list if you don't know how to play around it. Um, just because of it's just got such a big threat saturation that you focus on one thing or a couple of things, and then there's just something else that just takes its place. Yeah, and I think um, the the other thing that your list has got is it's got a lot of duality. A lot of stuff can shoot and assault. Yeah, most yeah. of my stuff only does one thing. Yeah, um, yeah. and I think that was a, a really critical thing that you were getting essentially two activations to my one. Yeah, um, yeah. So something of mine would go in charge, kill something. Something of yours would go in shoot something, and then be able to charge something yeah. else if needs. Yeah, yeah. So like my grey knight shooting at the um, plague bearers and then charging the bloodletters and just stuff like that. You can mm. just you've got this duality, and the duality is part of it is um, part of every single unit in the list apart from the scions. So obviously you've got the duality of the Moirax because they they're pretty good in combat, especially against big things with the. Um, D6 damage, and, yeah, the D6 damage and the strength, and then obviously the knight, the crusader itself is crest. Obviously, it's got the crusader shooting, and then the re-rolling all hits in combat. Yeah, I mean that was, I think that was that was I probably realising at the time, but it's when the when the Zangors failed eleven saves. Um, yeah, that was pretty big. As well. If you think there's another really six bad. of them plus a couple more from the morale, if they're going to hit the knight one more turn. They've a very reasonable chance yeah, of finishing yeah. those two wounds. He was, off. he was on two wounds, so you um, know, you, then he doesn't come in and kill the corn prince and yeah, possibly yeah. not the plague bearers. Yeah, um, I don't think unless I'm, I was like playing a fun game, I don't think I'd ever run a knight as not mechanicus because of that strat. Oh, it's brilliant. To, um, like, I I run chaos knights from time to time. Yeah, and they don't not have having that. Yeah. It's a huge deal yeah. for them. So. Um, yeah, it's so good. It's so good because you can you can really um, even a crusader or like a castellan you can really like blunt its output by getting it down to its like lower bracket. Mm. Essentially, doubles its effectiveness plus its yeah. movement. Yeah. So you, you you basically if you've got command points left, you have to, you have to kill it outright for it to be not effective anymore, which is massive on something like a knight. Mm. Um, and it. It was probably one of the turning points of the game was not killing the knight mm. because what I did afterwards was I killed the plague bearer unit and the demon prince of corn, which was another demon prince gone. Yeah, because otherwise it comes in and smashes yeah. up the yeah. uh, Moirax in the middle and yeah. things snowball differently. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't. No, that's just how it goes sometimes. So thanks for the game. Yep. That's really good. And we'll be back with more battle reports soon. Yeah, soon. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs>